Uh, there we've is. avoided it long enough. It's it's time to fish, boys. Oh man, you're at the western fishing spot. Now each fishing hey. spot, I think, what has has some intense lore, right? Um, <laughs> oh well, you would know. Please go ahead. Right, right, okay, right. I was thinking about this. I'm pretty sure this is big, big. I've already forgotten. I did some math. Can I interject and say I love that Sonic does not look up to Big? He just stares directly at his rotund <laughs> belly while speaking to him, emotionless and move motionless. I mean, that makes sense to me. Um, <laughs> because you... If Sonic starts to tilt his head back, you know, it's just the weight. It just falls back. Big's <laughs> <laughs> Big Fishing Adventure 5? Uh, I don't think... Uh, hold on. I was trying to... I was figuring it out and I've already forgotten. Uh, let me, let me look... Let me look at my notes. These on the fly war masters can't live with them, can't live without them. I know, right? I was figuring it out. Um, I think, yes, it would be five. Yeah, you're right. Which one was four? Four is in the Lego, uh, Lego Dimensions. Lego Dimensions, yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, I needed to refresh to make sure there wasn't like something I was forgetting. But yeah, no, no, yes. This is BBFA 5. Mm -hmm. Is the one we know. Mm -hmm. 2 was Sonic Adventure, right? No, no. Adventure because... is BBFA 1. Oh, Big's and then Fishing, the LCD, the LCD game is number 2. Right. Right. It's I, important I can't remember right which... There. Yeah. Big's Big Fishing Adventure 3 is SA2? Yes. Is that spoilers? Uh, that's not... No. no. That, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but I, I think uh, it is oh, well. Four, four is uh, Lego Dimensions. Well, Lego yeah. Dimensions counts, but Heroes doesn't. No, he, he I think Heroes would be five. Game. He could have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I, if we're talking about him, he could have. We had to consider secret rings. He fishes cream out of the sky after the wind blows. I mean, mm. uh, that that's that's like he uses his fishing pole, but he he doesn't act actively fish. He fished a rabbit out of the air. I can't wait to title this part. We grill Big's Big Fishing Adventure Three's writer the hard hitting questions. <laughs> I think because yeah, okay, I think I think it would be heroes would be five, and then secret rings would be six. Wait, what? I don't, that's not no. how it works. The reason no. heroes isn't a number, <laughs> if if Lego Dimensions is BBFA four, that means everything between SA two and whatever Lego Dimensions is cannot have a number. It cannot be a Big's Big Fishing Adventure. It would have to have a different <laughs> title. It would have to have a different thing yeah thanks traveler's tales traveler's okay, well, tales changed it so heroes <laughs> is not bbfa five or six or through four or any okay, it's it is its own thing then oh, what, wait, what about when secret... does Lego dimensions take place in the timeline well i mean Lego like, dimensions it could have is... happened before heroes right i don't think well so. no shadows there yeah, shadows, yeah, shadows there. there there's all like hmm. i know I mean, it's what, sort of what, a, what, the what about... lego universe but what 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 about Whoa, secret well, rings? Well, there's Coker Scroll. What? Oh, what? Hey, oh, don't ignore me. What about secret rings? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. At the, that, that's in between three and four, so it's like a side adventure. It's uh, it it can be a BBFA, but it can't be a numbered one. That right. wasn't big, actually big. Fish big, adventure though. three and Sharyar. No, it wasn't big. That, it was big. That was big. Yeah, yeah that, that was big. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, because this also big, went into the book. You know? Big went into the book. Because Big has all of his journal stuff of talking about, uh, yeah, he's ta talking about like, oh, this is my, uh, like, the, 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 these are my adventures going on, like, in this. Yeah. Uh, You're never gonna believe what I'm about to write and use. Oh man, it's a flying fish. Whoa. Sonic grounded it. Oh. An authoritative t caretaker, if there ever was one. <laughs> right. In, in the in the journal that you read in the special book, uh, Big is like, oh, uh, you know, a, 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 mis a mysterious lady shows up and is like, oh, yeah, you're the blue wind or whatever. So basically, Shahara mistakes Big for Sonic the Hedgehog and pulls him <laughs> into the book. And then I guess at some point she realizes that's not Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and instead of sending Big back, she just grabs Sonic the Hedgehog. So Big is just... They're with them. So that gives me some questions about the book that I think I had 
um, on unreleased FTCR material so far. Oh, that was a really like, tight uh, express right there. I had to show off a little, you know. I mean, <laughs> this is the Let's Play. Okay. But is every... If we assume we're in the world where books can teleport you to the world within, which we seem to be in in Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Is every book an instance or is uh, every book a portal to the same world? Hi, Chopper. He's big and floating. That, that's pretty neat. But like, you know, if there's a copy of the book at my house and a copy of the book at your house, do they both go to the same world? Like, did Big go to Talos's house and go, ooh, and fall in or... <laughs> I mean, I could see Big doing that. Um, yeah. I mean, it would. I guess it would make more sense if all books link to one world, because if Sonic's like, well, you know, if if this world gets destroyed, it's fine. There's already there's like twenty million more copies right outside my window. <laughs> uh, that's like, so careless of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amy would would yell at him, be like, "Sonic, like if one person's in trouble, and he's like, yeah, but it's the same person like a thousand times. <laughs> Can't always be the hero, Amy. Oh, so if Eggman was like, okay, so here's here's how we tie it into modern events, right? Eggman's like, I have to ban all the books and burn them. <laughs> oh, God. to destroy this world. <laughs> and Sonic's like, this will never fly, Eggman. As long as there's one copy of this book somewhere." The, the beating heart of the Arabian Nights will live. As long as there's a PDF on goodreads.com. Oh, right. We're not even talking about digital copies. Like, what? Well, it's 1991. You know, there's no. Right. I guess you could photocopy <laughs> it. I don't know what that means, though. Right. Like, what happened at the printing press for these commonly published books? Oh, man. It's a red can. Oh, hey. Look, a red can. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess that is a good question. Like, or what if somebody, you know, copied the book by hand? Does that then become mm. a portal or? Yeah, like what if their handwriting is real bad? Does the world get messed up? One more time. Why did she transport Sonic into the book? Um, to fight. Because uh, there's a blue wind. Right. To, to fight to fight who? A razor gin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, okay. no, well, 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 technically, it was to get the the seven uh, rings because the Razor Jin wanted her to, because of the okay, whole. Okay, but uh, like, the book is pre-written, mm -hmm. so like, how can a Razor Jin do anything other than what he was written to do? I don't. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. he, I guess well, he's the, breaking out of it. He's also erasing the stories, because at some point he's like, "Oh, I've already eaten uh, thirty of the a thousand and one <laughs> nights," <laughs> and it's like, "Oh." <laughs> Did you put some hot sauce on them or <laughs> crunch? <laughs> like when he does those things, do they get written automatically? Like, um, I don't know. Um, I, just, I don't like it. <laughs> it's a magic well, book. Remember, whatever. It is it's canon. It is right. Well, I guess it's like you know, in in uh, Black Knight, Sonic is is sucked into the Arthurian legend. And Merlina's whole deal is that she wants to stop things from happening, right? She knows the story must go one way. And she doesn't want Camelot to fall, right? Isn't isn't that sort of the thing? And so she's kind of like... She wants it to live forever. She wants it to live forever. So I guess nice. a Razor Jin is sort of doing a similar thing, like, oh, I'm going to rebel against <laughs> what's being dictated. I'll... Doesn't he kind of want to rewrite all of them? Yeah, he, yeah he, he, he wants to rewrite the story so that he can he can be a god. Right. Write he his own. The last few yeah. pages and was like, well, this shit sucks. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Next right, time, so try writing a better story. Well, there's a thousand and one. Just didn't wait. Um. Oh, the gold card. Whoa. Now Sonic can go to the club. <laughs> uh, I know they're canon, but I try not to think about storybook games being canon because it hurts. Yeah, me too. Because I, the reason why I asked questions is because I forgot about it because I Whoa. stopped thinking about it. Time. Yeah, no, like, you're right to do that. <laughs> Thanks, generations. I, mean, again, I, I, I just, 
I just I just think of it as as just like a magic other world of being like yeah there, there's there's like a, there, 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 there's a magic world that it has that that's like connected to these storybooks, and it's like oh yeah like they 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 can they, they, he can travel there in uh, specific circumstances just like he can travel across dimensions and whatever. It's like I th I think that's I'm fun. gonna Nishiki. I'm gonna add to that and say that all books in Sonic's world have like a Wreck It Ralph thing. All the characters like meet up when the <laughs> when the books are closed. <laughs> they like. Hey hop guys, it's me, Wreck It Ralph from the novelization of Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. they they hop out of their books once you put them on the shelf and you go to bed. Right. <laughs> I oh, man. <laughs> and they all talk to each other. Hey, isn't that sort of a thing in Gumby? Oh yeah, Gumby. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh man. That is kind of a thing in Gumby. Right, Gumby can like jump into a book and he's in the world of that book. You know, and she meets Sha she meets Shahara and she's like, you're the green wind I've heard so much about. <laughs> and he's like, I guess. Oh. I mean, I, I, that Come would on, be Pokey. Right, I think Pokey would complain <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> no, you know, he'd be fucking upset. He'd be like, are we really doing this? Yes, Flying manta rays with temples on her back. I don't even remember what he sounds like. Yes, we are, Pokey. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna save the thousand and one nights. This I is just... the true litmus test. I can't wait to scroll under this part and be like, what the fuck is Gumby? <laughs> Gumby. Gumby. He Gumby here. And he will be sure. To Gumby. Okay. Gumby. Rationalize this. Gumby video game. There has to be one. Oh. Gumby versus the Astro Bots on Game Boy Advance. There's our next Let's Play. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. so that's that's what we're doing. And then we're going to redo Sonic Adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's from Namco. Namco? Yeah, it has to be good. Namco never made a bad game. Sometimes it's a spinning sign. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, there it Those is. Those sneaky blockheads trademark have done it again. Whoa. This time, they've commanded the Astrobots trademark to capture all of Gumby's pals and imprison them in books scattered across Toyland. Hey, see, there you go. Oh, see, right. Join a huge cast of characters from the Gumby TV show, including Pokey, Prickle, and Goo. Yeah, those are his friends. Pokey, Prickle, right. and Goo. I'm going to close this tab. <laughs> there, there are a couple Gumby songs themes there's the old one and there's a new one right isn't there <laughs> also gumby pizza isn't that a thing yeah what isn't there like a pizza chain named after gumby um i hope not i i i just assumed it would have been a separate but maybe right like didn't somebody officially license gumby for their oh, pizza parlor no they did. Yeah, Gumby Pizza. Gumby's Pizza in Gainesville, Florida, the home of the Stoner Pizza Pie. Right. <laughs> I learned uh -huh. something recently about a place near Gainesville, Florida. There's this place called The Villages, and the old people Ooh. who live there have adopted some sort of, like, uh, code to, like, secretly tell other old people, like, what sexual stuff they're into. Oh, they like buy different, you know, like loofahs that you get for like the shower. Not like, you know, like they're different colors, like there's pink and blue and white. Yeah. Yeah. They started hanging those on like their car and in, in some exterior manner. And that just tells all the other other old people what they're into. Whoa. Like if you like red, you're into this. If you like blue, you're into this. Uh, oh, and it's like, back in my day, these were just pineapples. You have an index? No. Well, pineapples are supposed to just be like I'm a swinger in, in general, mm. but like now, now they're getting specific. <laughs> like, okay, well, we've met this other swinger, but they weren't into the same things as us. Guess we got to drive around and look for more woofers. Yep. I'm gonna put up a Gumby woofer and go to Florida. Florida's a fu happens. fucking wild place, man. I hate it. <laughs> All the alligators <laughs> everywhere. Oh man, what what loofahs hang off the alligators? <laughs> ah. He caught a salmon and he got six tokens. Sonic's we're in the book. Uh, I like look. Sonic's like glowing when he's got a 
got an aura uh, also, around him. Uh, uh, how, how does Froggy rank these of being like, how, how does he know what they're worth? Like the yeah, signpost. He has his own internal. See, it know, is canon. Like is, this is like the Froggy value. Also, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> See, frog, co frog coin. That's what these tokens are. Uh, they're just I don't frog think coin. Froggy would and, be into... And, and they're in the digital world. Okay. It's literally what it's this. Oh my is god, it's cryptocurrency. Coin. Yeah. Hear me out. What? It's it's Doge, but it's like froze. Froze? Right? Like frog. Froge um, coin. Yeah. Fro froze coin. Fro froze is like a, a frozen yogurt chain, right? No! Sure. <laughs> it's about to be. Yo, let's go to Froge. <laughs> yeah, I want that double decker peanut butter frozen. <laughs> I don't know. I prefer the, the, Why, Shaggy? I mean, the, it, it, it is the it is the very uh, low hanging fruit to say this, but the the, the fishing does feel the most uh, <laughs> Persona Five to me. Although the, although the, the, this this fishing is much better than the fishing in Persona Five. I think I fished in Persona Five once. once. So I did I'm it, inclined to believe anything you say. I, I did it, it once, literally just to, because it was the one thing I didn't do, and I was like, yeah, nah. There's much better uses of my time than this. <laughs> what did yeah. you catch? I don't even remember. <laughs> a fish, maybe. Whoa, you caught a fish? Maybe. Oh, a scroll. You got a scroll. Um, now you can fast travel, which uh, you haven't done. Um, You do it in like part 27, though, right? When you're getting all the memory tokens. Huh. David, I'm Sonic. I'm always fast traveling. <laughs> uh, it's like Spider-Man, you know, like you do it once to be like, oh, that's how it works in this game. Well, I'm just going to go run around because it's more fun then. You know? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Spider-Man, he takes the subway and you're like, oh, that's cute. But I'd like to play the game in this one. Yeah. Man, I mean, I mean, Ooh. maybe in the P I mean, uh, how fast is the, the loading in the PS5 version? Because like maybe if it's like instant, yeah. I can see the. It it's real fast. Okay, because if, if in the P like me like I I could see I could see the PS5 version using it for speed runs because of how fast it is. But yeah, everything mm. else it's like yeah no, playing the game normally is faster. True. So how lowly does Froggy think of that poison dart frog to only be like well that's only worth two coins in my book you know this entire other being of my species <laughs> he's poisoned. <laughs> um do you imagine froggy right. ha do you, do you do you imagine him having any lingering effects of chaos within him like deep within mm. well actually no well, yeah, technically doesn't he because that, that that's that's why metal sonic is going after him and heroes yeah yeah because he still has because some of chaos touched... yeah a data so yeah technically chaos froggy still has some chaos in him so it's um, symbolic that Big and Froggy are both here and that Big the Cat appears. I was going to say they both appear in this game, but you never see Froggy. <laughs> no, he's just uh, mentioned. I guess um, if we're talking about like all the ways this game references other games and doesn't explain it for new people, that's just an actual named character that is said to be here and isn't. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know what a froggy is, you're like, is he like schizophrenic? Like, what's up with the cat? <laughs> me honestly, was froggy point, ever real? Me honestly, this I, I I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't actually froggy handling the shop, and there's like a robo froggy. Robo froggy. Oh wow! No, there is an idea. Like robo froggy's just like omo, it's like omo chow froggy. Hmm. <laughs> but it's speed. We'll but tell it you speaks. Things. Medical malpractice, Froggy. <laughs> Are these all digital fish? Uh, they have to be. It, they, do they have to be? I mean, Sonic and Big are organic beings, and they're here. Maybe they got slurped up? <laughs> they could have gotten slurped. There's like a portal mm -hmm. in the bottom of the lake that like sucks up other fish <laughs> in, like, in the real world. And it's like, oops, there you go. Oh, God, crab. I like Ew. that they're specific for some species, but then that's just a crab. 
It's got fresh and salt water creatures in the same body of water. Yeah, which is also mm. why it feels like they're probably digital, because how is all yeah. this survive? And trash. Uh, true. Hmm. Well, I mean, maybe does does salt water exist in Sonic's world? <laughs> Right, because Sonic can breathe This is what I knew this part would bring out. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting their voice. He can breathe in space, but he can't Sonic breathe can underwater. Sonic can breathe in space. And... No, yeah, but he can't breathe underwater, so... Hmm. Right, he, has, he hasn't grown gills yet. <laughs> is there no. salt water in space? Is that what it is? Is that where all the well... salt water is? Hmm. Maybe in Sonic's world, they, you know, just add salt to taste. When it comes to the <laughs> Like to the world. ocean? Like, oh, the ocean's not tasty <laughs> enough. Sprinkle a little bit. <laughs> we have to season the ocean for its yearly gains. The fish taste much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that gag in Futurama where, where Welcome they. Welcome to Venice. It's like that yeah. gag in Futurama where, where they where they stop climate change by dropping a giant pound of ice in the water. There you go. <laughs> That'll stop things for a couple of years. <laughs> it's just you drop a giant oh, yeah. pound of ice. You drop a giant pound of Ooh. salt in the ocean. There you go. That'll fix everything. That fish is gold, guys. Whoa. Oh, then I it, bet it must be real. Uh, yeah. I bet you could sell it for a lot. More than twelve tokens, yeah. freaking fr 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 twelve fr froggy coins. Yeah, it's enough value for me. He's gonna, he's gonna turn that right around, and he's gonna make a profit of three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a he, froggy's a thrifter. Oh no. Oh, uh, you know. Here's how I gained fifteen hundred dollars a week doing this one simple thing of reselling other people's items. Like, hey guys, it's Froggy. <laughs> Here I am at, at uh, this lake. I, Here I am I, at the Pawn Star <laughs> shop in Las Vegas. I only did the fishing oh, a couple times. Would I only Froggy did the fish ever be on an episode of Pawn Star? He was already on an episode of Joe Rogan, so soon mm -hmm. he will be. That's true. Froggy has been on Joe Rogan canonically. <laughs> canonically. <laughs> Same with Watto. Hey, well, yeah. Watto, I 100% understand. <laughs> yeah, he's a Toydarian, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we changed clothes. Well, we also changed fishing locations. Yeah, which one are we at now? I don't know. You didn't show the title. Um... Uh... You didn't keep it's that in. You're gonna have to re-edit the whole it's video. It's a challenge to the viewers. Where, which one are we at now? Gee, I, wa I wonder I if it's, it's the third. The I wonder third if it's one. Yeah, the third one. Hmm. I mean, I could have put him out of order. Yeah, but is know. that south, northeast? It's not like, it's like hmm. looks uncomfortable. It is the same lake, though. In that outfit, fishing like he's rusted through. If he he he'd sink to the bottom of that lake. Actually, the, 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 that would that would be something that be that, that would have been cool to have if you could actually explore like the fishing spot and you could like walk to whichever fishing spot. Like once you've collected all of them, you could just kind of explore this area and then be like, okay, I'm gonna go to this fishing spot and then go to that one. Like just just have the fishing area be its own hub. I think that would be cool. I'm gonna walk up to Froggy and exchange items. Yeah. If only, maybe in wave three. Oh man, right. Let's send a tweet to 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 <laughs> What's this? Kishimoto. Where's Kishimoto, yeah. Send send a tweet to Kishimoto. Say, hey. Just imagining him emerging from the office bleary eyed on a Friday evening, the worst week of his professional life. You know, work's been real rough. He's like, I need to see, I need something from the fans. I need energy. I need something to keep me going on this path. Mm-hmm. And he just goes, there's a swarm of people like, where the fuck's Froggy? <laughs> well, it, it doesn't make any sense that he's mentioned, but not there. Where's Froggy? <laughs> he's just like, what am I doing? Oh, man. I mean, he might be. I could have worked on Mario Odyssey like the others. Get a laugh. <laughs> Ooh, a little snapping turtle. Hey. Like the others who got swooped up by Nintendo. 
Right. Yeah. What would he have done on Odyssey, you think? He would have programmed Mario's shoes. And also put eight floating block platforms over the desert level. He would have put in more crates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Keep this man away from Nintendo. Every item in Odyssey has been replaced with crates. Crates. Okay. Oh. You know what? Cabby Give him a raise. onto a crate. You know what? He gets squashed by Sonic. <laughs> Give him Ooh. a raise. David. Oh, the Rosetta Stone. What's it say? What? Yeah, what's it say, David? Uh, it says, okay, uh, he, uh, congratulations, you may have already won. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just the URL to Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Ooh, twig. Whoa, a twig. All right. Is that a real twig? <laughs> I need to know. Is this a know. digital twig? I guess it's a digital twig. Hmm. Look at that fish. Yeah. Not a fish. So an hour of fishing in this playthrough. It's half an hour of leveling up if you don't speed it up. Uh-huh. Huh. That's an hour and a half of this in Sonic Frontiers. Game of the year. Is this video just fishing? Uh, I hope so. No, true. Sorry. 45 minutes of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Mia. There's a little more at the end, which I toyed on whether it should be included or not since it's just the egg memos, but I was like, eh, why not? All right, now we can see uh, what what he said. We talked about it last time. <laughs> That's true. Actually. It all ties together. A master vision. Uh, they could have some chow around here, right? Like, yeah. This is where they'd hang out. Right. Digital chow. Right. The chow I could be running like... the shop with Froggy. Ooh. Oh, right. See, they do that canonically. Froggy has conscripted the chow. Um, <laughs> he held a knife up to the black market chow and said, you're coming with me. <laughs> Whoa. This will make sense later. I promise. Um, would the animal friends work there or, or do they run like a competing store on the other side of the lake? Oh, true. And you can like barter between them. And like you could be the thrifter. Oh man, right. Like you see Froggy buying things from the animal shop. And then <laughs> he's like, hey, <laughs> wait a minute. And then he resells it at his shop at a at a steep increase. And then Froggy just looks at the camera and says, The food items from O Charlie's are also the ones Bob Evans uses. And he <laughs> leaps away. <laughs> That's what the stone tablet says. <laughs> oh yeah. The Rosetta Stone. It's that's what Eggman glossed over in SA1. He's like, oh, Charlie's and Bob Evans have the same food. What? Oh, monster. Okay. An inscribed oh. stone tablet has the same message in three languages, including mysterious glyphs. So it could serve as a key to deciphering them. That seems like that could be important. Like, if those uh, symbols are the same as the symbols that you see in on the Starfile Islands, then maybe you could translate them. Zap! You translate Zap! I had a... I had a few people trying to look into that because they were very curious about it once they saw the stone tablet thing. Uh -huh. And the conclusion was, no, there's no way to do this. <laughs> well, because it, there is no, there aren't three languages on that tablet. It's just one. Yeah, it's just one. And it yeah. isn't even a real language. It's just like some... Yeah. Maybe, maybe like, the I... DLC will give you a translation minigame. <laughs> oh, great. Well, it could be it uh, like... Amy's thing. You know, because in Boom, Amy is a um, archaeologist. Is she? Yeah, that's technically what she is. She's an archaeologist. Oh, it's more so that I just don't remember anything about Boom than doubting that that's a thing. But... Oh, you should uh, rewatch all 104 episodes. Oh, this was the show even. I thought you meant the game. All right. I mean, it might be mentioned oh. in the game, but she brings it up a few times in the show as well. You know what we've never let's play? What? Oh, Sonic Boom Rise of America. <laughs> oh. 
Does anyone here own <laughs> Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric? I do. <gasps> you do? Oh, that's exciting. I bought it day one. You, you bought it day one. You said... So did I. Why? You bought it day one too? Whoa. Yeah. I was like, it's a new Sonic game. I mean... And I bought it. Yeah, I do have the game. What? Whoa. I'm the odd Dude, man are, out. are you the only one? That is so cringe. I Yeah, I guess I'm the only one who doesn't own Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Because I also don't have a Wii U. Um, oh, I don't own a copy. I sold mine. <laughs> you oh. had a copy. You had it. Yeah. You enjoyed mm -hmm. it. And then you threw no. it out the window. <laughs> no, I didn't, you can, I didn't even finish it. Then we can do Shattered Crystal and Fire and Ice. Right. And cover the whole we, we, we have We have done streams of all the games, so... Oh, yeah. Right. If we do do um, Rise mm -hmm. of Lyric, we should definitely talk about how Big Red Button got shafted. Oh, that's how a bunch stuff. of people, people made fun of them, and it wasn't their fault. Could we get Big Red Button to be on the playthrough? I would love that. <laughs> Just like all of them. I'm not sure they're looking to get out there still even this much later. But man, it'd be fun. I met Bob Rafe once at Sonic Boom 2014. So, you know, we, we're basically friends now. <laughs> right. Because they were, they were pushing that game. It's like, hey, this is going to be new and you should buy it. Yeah, he signed Please. my copy of the Jack and Daxter HD collection. He was like, oh man, he looked genuinely happy for a moment. And then he had to return to his reality. He was like, <laughs> I remember making games. <laughs> that hammerhead shark is so large. Got the goofy, like they, they always got that goofy face. Yeah, he does. Right. Okay. 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 So, right. We can get Bob Raffy, right? Ra Raffy? Raffy? Stephen Frost. Stephen Frost. He was the producer. Um, uh, the other one. Uh, right. Who else made that game? Roger Craig Smith. We could get Roger Craig. Right. He, he programmed <laughs> it. Uh, what I think is fucked up is that Big the Cat doesn't have his flotation power up from Sonic Adventure 1. What if he fell into the water? <laughs> He doesn't have fishing lure upgrade one, two, three, four, or five. Is that a real hammerhead shark? Is there a polka dot real one? <laughs> I like to imagine yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you're gonna, uh, you gotta hook it. Oh, you did it. I wonder what you cool. caught. Don't worry, guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Earlier when we were talking about being in cyberspace, how we were only going through Sonic's memories and none of the ancients. Mm -hmm. This must be a part of some ancient's memory, right? Or is it part of Big's memory? I guess, yeah, mm. it could be. Although his memory, I guess, is like better than everyone else's because it's not floating above a giant pit of nothing. <laughs> then again, where are these Elder Scrolls coming from? Uh, um, it, it it's leftover uh, data because he's still in cyberspace. Uh, <laughs> if 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 uh, if Elder Hermit Coco Man, if he's like, I'm going into the digital dream, so he's probably like going to sleep and then he just rolls into the lake and he lost his scroll. <laughs> Oh, it's so flashy. Um, it's all dressed up. Go out and have a good he, time. He accidentally rolled into all four lakes. <laughs> he did. <laughs> so then when he woke up, he was like, where's my auto insurance? And Where are my scrolls, bro? <laughs> I just finished penning those. The Elder Scrolls? <gasps> Bog? Oh. Man, if only I still had my Elder Scrolls that listed the three places I like to stand at across these islands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I love that like, yeah, once by the time you get to this final island and you just get a <laughs> shitload of uh, tokens. It's like a fr frog coin is off the hizzle uh, on this like, final you island. You really don't want to play the game we made, huh? All right, here. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right, you're catching more fish. Oh, yeah. Look, it's a platinum golden fish. Now, if this was like Animal Crossing, where you could display all these and get all kinds of info about them. Oh, man. I'd love to read about the platinum golden fish. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't display them, but you can read about them. True. Mm, true. Gold plated Latin. Reading's lame. Oh man, that octopus, he's going yo. <laughs> I wish. Look, if I made Sonic Frontiers, uh huh, I would have had some of the weird Eggman fish from Sonic Adventure here. The weird robot fish. That does seem like an obvious thing to throw in there. Like, they're using the Sonic Adventure music when you make a catch, and they're throwing in the classic stuff, like, why not have that weird bluefish with the spiky jaw mouth that's in the Twinkle Park pool? That would have been neat. That would have made me point and go, I know that fish. But then there's a tire. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> with the tire! He's so happy! <laughs> Sonic has never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of me. Whoa! Yeah, man, I used to, you know, like, just, you know, sit in a tire and, and roll down. That's how I learned how to roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patient zero. <laughs> tire. Right, like, he smile. He's sort of smirking. You can see his teeth. But with that tire, mouth open wide. You just can see the black nothingness oh. of his interior mouth. I haven't seen him that happy since he won bingo night. <laughs> One, two, three. Blonk. Right, and he's like, oh yeah, that's cool, I'll pose. I guess his mouth is open there. Uh, it would be funny <laughs> this if- This is almost as good as a tire. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can buy a tire with this. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know what he's- What he's yeah, expressing here. Disgusted. Yeah. He's like kissing it. Oh man, do you think <laughs> Sonic's licking that fish? <laughs> Kishimoto, we have another question. <laughs> we need to know. We're gonna have to mod the game, turn the camera around. Right. Oh my god. What's what's that guy's right. name? Boundary break. We turn the camera around in Sonic Frontiers and he's making out with the fish. <laughs> He's like, yeah, big. I just need to uh, to lick the fish to see if it's fresh. Otherwise, I gotta throw it back in the water. I understand. <laughs> Froggy shudders in the distance. Like, why are they fishing? They should be shopping at my emporium. Do you, do you think uh, Froggy has taken his company public? <laughs> Is he on the New York Stock Exchange? Great question. Yeah. I would invest three dollars in that company. I would Whoa. buy half of a share. Half right, yeah, that makes sense. Like the shares are like six like six seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing okay, but not like great. Right, but I mean like, you know, if you go shop there, increase profit. Like, like here, you're like, hey, I got this gold thing. Once that's sold, like, the shares might bump up to, like, 725? Stonks. 723. Oh, man. Right, why why isn't there a, a stocks mini game inside? Uh, oh. Gay frog. Happy Pride Month. Wait, that's next month. Happy Pride Month. Every month is Pride Every, Month. Every, yeah. There you go. That's the attitude I like. Except for January. Oh, it's too cold. <laughs> Those are just the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Every month Sorry. except January. <laughs> Every... It's too cold. You gotta stay inside. But, but later. Ah, oh, you did it. One, oh, it two, so good. three. What'd you catch? Oh, you caught a crate. Oh, I mean a, a trunk. 
Right, that doesn't count as a crate, right? It's a trunk. It depends on the eye of the beholder, I think. If you want to classify that as a crate, it's definitely adjacent. Like, crate Jason, you know? <laughs> oh. Whoa, it's like that... It's like a very tiny version of, 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 of uh, Unagi. That eel was eel is getting up. more popular to eat worldwide. You know, Song's just getting in early. That eel was so excited. And now he's been eaten. Like... I mean, if Sonic fished you out of the digital lake, how would you react, you know? He's a big fan. Right. Like, this carp, he doesn't seem to. He's like, oh, just put me back in. But that eel's like, yeah, I'm ready to pot, hey. Let's see. Let's see what the next thing does. I bet um, it'll be happy. Maybe sad. Oh, yeah. What, what do you make of that one? David? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I think that starfish has been contemplating life and <laughs> not much has changed mm. for it. So, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Imagine if you could just fish the bio lizard out of here, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be that would be pretty great. Oh, you got a gold girl. Like baby bio lizard. Baby bio <sighs> like Gerald Welcome Robot to the fishing part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gerald Robotnik made the original bio lizard. It was tiny and baby like. He gave it to Maria, who took care of it, nursed it using various bottles filled with various liquids some of them radioactive what? uh wait what 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 what, <laughs> what is this <laughs> i just wait <laughs> canon confirmed <laughs> oh man that kind of looks like like a like a wrap of some sort like you could eat that scroll <laughs> yeah it's a veggie wrap i'm gonna eat it it's tasty. Mm. I guess since you're pulling up shit like this, it's just a pool of everyone's memories who wound up in here. Oh. So, like, the tornado could be in there. I mean, anything could be in there. Oh. You could be in there. Oh, man, what if he fished and he pulled out and it was like... Amy... With classic Amy. <laughs> well, then they'd have to make a new model, David. Don't be silly. Oh, right. They can't be bothered. Uh... Classic Amy and classic Knuckles forever doomed to the other verse. Right. Oh, who knows? Maybe they'll be in Sonic Origins Plus. Oh. I mean, that'd be, that'd be cool. Were they on the menus for Origins, actually? I don't remember. No. On the Islands? No. The, oh. You got, you got they Sonic. Just the Generations classic just, ones. Yeah, okay. just your, <laughs> your bog standard generation models where it's like, you could redo these models, make them look better. They won't. That's um, funny. I was sitting here speaking and I was funny. like, oh wait, maybe they actually did do that for Origins. No. <laughs> Excellent. It's an alligator. <laughs> so this is Florida. The first time, the first time those words have been ever said <laughs> in that order. Oh, see if you could play as Vector, like would he have? Would he be okay with that? Uh, uh, uh. Mom, he's just, my cousin. You just be confused. It's like it's like that part in in the <laughs> Sonic X comic when Sonic's like, "What's that? It's a hedgehog." It's just a realistic hedgehog that Chris is holding up. What do you mean I'm only worth 24 coins? <laughs> 24 frog coin. Oh, man. But you can use them to get some froze. No, Sonic, you're gonna die! Get that away! No, it's happy. It's fine. He's licking it. He needs to know if it's fresh. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh. no, no, he needs I, to know I, if I, it's I, fresh. Why would it not be fresh? No, I, I love the idea of just, it's like, it's like, uh, so, so Sonic's wondering and being like, oh, where, where did all, where did all the fish go? And you turn to Big and Big just has like a giant mouth, just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 He's just been eating all the fish we give him. I'm sure there's some art very similar to that on the internet. I can go find it for you. 
I'm scared. Right, it has to be very specific because if it's not, if it's not specific, it will go down the wrong direction, and I don't want to look down that wrong direction. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's open up a new tab. <laughs> put it, put it in incognito mode. Don't forget. Do that. Uh, whenever I look anything up involving Sonic the Hedgehog, I use incognito mode. It's a little frightening. And Express VPN. I was about to say, it sounded like David was spinning up a VPN and I was like, uh... Right, if you go to vpn.classic slash uh, FTCR oh man, trip, you got, you and got triple use, eights. We use our Let's go. code, our, our, our promo code, which <gasps> is of course Big the Cat will fish you out of a lake, 20. Uh, you'll get 20% uh -huh. off your first three months. We're oh. Scrat. You just took his nut. That's not... That's not as good of a deal as the other VPN places. I don't think I will. Oh, okay. Well, if you type in, hey, Big the Cat <laughs> might fish you out of a lake 40, you'll get 40% off your first four months. That's better. Uh-huh. I don't think I've okay. ever seen it go to a thousand, so I'm really curious now. Oh. oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> you I, I really failed you. Would you like to try? Yeah, now you have one. Right, you have one now. Something happened. <gasps> yes, the I the lore. Oh, right. I don't think I show off all the fish. A small fish. A fish commonly found. A, a small slender fish. A, a creature. A, the, a, <laughs> God, God, <laughs> oh, look, God. I found Nemo. <laughs> well, now I wish this was voiced so I could do exactly what David is doing, but in the game. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's just actual fish facts. We just looked at all these things, so let's go fast, I guess. Yeah, it's a type of carp. Uh, a fish renowned, a massive, a fish, an ordinary, an empty. Um, there's Eggman. Uh, there's a twig. Hi, Eggman. Oh, you went back to be like a mechanical creature that looks like a. Uh, no, wait, wait. Applying force. <laughs> I think halfway through, I was like, I guess we should read the Sonic ones. Apply the let you. Never mind. <laughs> ring lore! One of the There's not a lot of ring lore. Oh, they've aided Sonic in the past. This one seems to be a work of art. Oh, so it's not a real ring. It's a fake ring. Yeah. I mean, it's still a ring, but it's not a ring ring. It's just a ring. But it's not one of the seven rings that could be in your hand if you were in the seven Arabian Nights. Uh, <laughs> see that eel? Hey. It's all chopper. Oh, man. What? Uh, what? So cute. <laughs> what if the acorn was like, huh, squirrels? <laughs> Isn't it weird huh, that there's like an oh. acorn and then a silver acorn, but there's no gold acorn? Uh, Froggy has it. You have to buy it from him. Mm. I just think Froggy. it's weird. Silver acorn. Some force is keeping me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. Oh. What oh. have got military craft doing in here? Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it, and it doesn't appear to be manned. Is it a defense mechanism? One of my defense mechanisms is summoning military craft. <laughs> I mean, it is there because Eggman thought of it, so... I'm finding recreations of Should have thought about a, a hole to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh, and the references to all the islands. Where I want to team I see the behind. Racing? Yeah, but see the behind the scenes where Ian where do you typed the words "Planet Donpa Kingdom" and got a note back being like, "What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's a game you made five years ago." <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> you liar. I mean, is there anything in this game that looks like it's from Team Sonic Racing though? It's completely alien to me. Huh? <laughs> it's. Eggman saw it. We didn't. Oh, well, I want to see him see it. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all. Well, I want to see Tails is cyber bully too. <laughs> oh, don't cyber bully me. I, I still want the prelude where, where where you're playing as Eggman and it's over the shoulder third person view, slowly walking through the island. <laughs> the sad dad game where he has to rescue Sage. <laughs> Ancients. They 
predate any civilization by a wide, wide margin. The echidnas? <laughs> See, black arms? Eggman's better than the Joel. <laughs> he, he let his daughter die <laughs> to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why? What stopped them from conquering? Eggman would have looked at that government guy and been like, fuck you, and then walked away. And he would have been too stunned to kill Sage. The emeralds in mind. It's almost like oh, last of us. the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery, but not when the answers are more mysteries. Uh, uh the, the Sonic fan base be like set of strange icons, <laughs> that same imagery is being used. Great question, Zegman. I wish we knew. Right, it's like uh, could it be this or could it be that? It's like well uh, It's in a weird thing where I want them there to be mysteries, but that one is like I just don't grasp how the cocos work in these specific ways <laughs> i don't get it event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands it appears they made some effort to rebuild but they were living on borrowed time been generations since they've seen you they all died believe this i had sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients and then against archives i have with me they are relatives of chaos the god of destruction after countless years their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. I love the sound of Grandfather Eggman. Yeah, he doesn't uh. sound like Eggman here. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he sounds more Mike Pollock than anything. Yeah. Just regular Mike Pollock. Yeah, because he's not being angry. <laughs> he's being coyly and cutely inquisitive, right. which is... Isn't this the memo that should have been like way earlier? Don't worry about it. Okay. Some of the memos are out of order. Like here he says, she's harassing Sonic. And then a later memo is like, of course Sonic is here. <laughs> right. Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Fooey. She can prompt them to act, but... Something is blocking her from assuming total, total control. control. Sage keeps running the numbers by me, and it's getting tedious. Yes, the power that wiped out the ancients was so she did try to warn Eggman. Yeah, he was see, like, <laughs> Eggman knew <laughs> about it, and he knew that if it got out, it would be catastrophic. So then earlier, when he's like, When what gets out, it's like, You know, crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities guiding me past firewalls. Keeping me updated on progress in the real world. She, she's the best. She he has great little shoes. <laughs> I designed them myself. Uh, adorable program. Uh, a personable program. Uh, a, uh, I wonder if she... Can we be a family born of love? Eggman wow. respects pronouns. Let's go. She was very special. All that love for someone who was gone when I was right there. But I have to wonder. Back then... Right. So, like, I mean, his mind is all over in these six hours or however long this is. He's like, "Oh my cousin Maria, oh, yeah, like, yeah, am I fucked up? Am I fucked up because my grandfather cared more about Maria than me? Oh no." Well, I mean, what anyway, about his Sage told a joke. <laughs> well, for a program, I mean, it's not like she's alive. Or Eggman is is upset, but it is like, are are were, were Eggman's parents like, oh, you know. Ivo, we really wish you were like uh, our niece who's dead. If only you were like Maria from 37 years ago. Because her dad is a genius. That's why Sonic. Of course, Sonic's on the island. Of course. Wait, what? I can't remember the last time I had a good night scheme without him ruining it. Still, for a purely organic creature, obtaining Mach 1 of his own volition is impressive. Some of these are so weird. It's time to reflect on Baldy McNose hair <laughs> while trapped in cyberspace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this means Sonic named him Eggman since before Sonic 2. Mm. He's got Eggman written on the side of his uh, right stuff. That's why we need a Sonic Zero. It seems like she had some trouble finding. Like what? Why is Eggman commenting on Amy's self-discovery journey? 
Me. Damn, she seems to be a little troubled. Oh, well, I guess I'll kidnap her again. Uh, right. I mean, he, 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 he's stuck in here for presumably days, so he probably has nothing else better to do but just talk to himself. So might as well yeah, be introspective. This is, this is weird. I like him shitting on Knuckles, though. That's the way he's like, wait, I can get the Master Emerald! Oh, never mind. He used Fooey twice. Yeah, Fooey. All the trouble he gave me in Station Square and on the Ark. Is that the last time Tails pestered Eggman? Um, personally? I mean, has it been that not, long? Not, I mean, Lost World kind of, but not not really. Would you like to try? Bye, Big. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I, I feel like there should have been like one more that was like a definitive final egg log. Because it, 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 as it is, it just kind of stops on, oh, Tails. Yeah, that would have been nice. What else would have been nice in this game? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> let's find out next time on Sonic Frontiers LP. Let's play number nine. Next time, nine.